Hello, welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am Peter Yorsky, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. In the seventh video tutorial of our 10 part video tutorial series on the Drupal Commerce module, I want to introduce you to taxes and how we can add taxes to our sites. Uh, so we'll have an example of using a sales tax uh, that's used in Canada where the sales tax is applied at the end of your order. Uh, but we'll also look at something like a VAT that uh, is displayed when you're actually looking at a product price. Uh, before we do that, you'll notice I'm over at torontowonsitedeveloper.com slash store. Here you can purchase my video tutorial series as I produce them. Uh, you'll see I've got a few up here right now. Uh, each are $20, but as you buy more, you get more of a discount. Each sale goes to help me continue to develop these video tutorials, keep them free and keep them frequent. Uh, so I greatly appreciate everyone who's purchased them. Alternatively, if you don't have the money to purchase a series, but you would like to give back, please just give this uh, tutorial a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Let me know. I greatly appreciate that. and also helps to promote these video tutorials to other YouTubers. Now, that said, we're going to head back over to our localhost slash commerce here. This is the site I've been developing throughout this entire series. Um, you'll notice if I go over to modules here for the site, I've enabled two specific modules under commerce. Uh, this would be the tax module as well as the tax UI module. So with those set up, I can hover over store configuration uh, and I can go down to taxes. So you'll notice I have two tabs here, tax rates and tax types. Uh, tax types is where we're going to start. Um, this, these two taxes will be coming, uh, they'll be available on your site right out of the box when you enable the tax module. You get sales tax and you get VAT. The difference between the two when you're using the default is sales tax is the type of tax that is displayed, uh, you know, at the end of your purchase. So you have a display price for your product. It doesn't have tax included. The VAT, on the other hand, will have that tax included. So when you're looking at a price, it will be the final price that you're actually paying. The way that you configure those, if we go into edit, you can see the sales tax here. This checkbox display taxes of this type inclusive in product prices. You'll see that that's unchecked. And so that's how we uh, control whether or not the tax will be displayed when you're displaying a product price. Alternatively, if you look at the VAT, you can see here display the types uh, and it's got that checked off itself. You can take a look here. You can go right into configure rule. So if you look at the sales tax, you can see this is the rule that is going to control how the sales tax is determined um, and applied. And so we're going to come back to that. I just wanted to give you a heads up because uh, here is the full rule itself when you're when you're applying this. Um, and I guess the key thing to note here is it's uh, reacting to the event of calculating the sales price of a product. The condition is something we can add to make sure that the tax is only applied to, to certain products. That said, uh, over at tax rates here, here's where you actually define your specific percentages. So we can go ahead and add a tax rate. Let's just do, uh, I don't know, US. Um, Know, we're going to do US sales tax. And so we'll leave the display title blank because it's just going to choose the exact same uh, title that we have here. We don't need a description. Uh, the tax rate that we're going to use is going to be uh, 1%, right? So you, you uh, add it as a decimal. Um, and then here, when you're choosing which type you're going to use, uh, this is what we just looked at. We're going to use sales tax and go ahead and save this. Now I've got that set up. If I go ahead and go back to my homepage here, now I've got a couple of products set up here. So I've got Suzy Pitcher. You know, Suzy Pitcher is still selling for only $50. If I go ahead and I add Suzy to my cart and I go check out my cart, you'll notice I have two of them here. Let's just go ahead and remove one. If I go and check out, you'll notice that here's my US sales tax. It gets applied $5 and it's right at the very end. So uh, my, my subtotal comes up as $50. My, my sales price was $50. Um, However, this is going to be for any country. So right now I'm, you know, Canada here and I'm going to go uh, Peter um, and then one main street, um, make this Toronto and I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, we'll continue the next step. And so here you'll see my U.S. sales tax is still being applied when I've identified that I am in Canada. And uh, so that's a problem. So the way that you rectify that is back where I was showing you, we're going to go to configuration, uh, taxes, we're going to go to tax types. And here, under sales tax, we're going to configure a rule. And so we're going to add a condition to this rule. And so what this is going to be is you're going to go down here to order address component uh, comparison and check that off. And now it's asking you the order containing the profile reference with the address in question. So under data selection, you can choose commerce line item. And you'll see the dot, dot, dot. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And then you can see commerce line item order, right? We don't want dot, dot, dot. We just want order. We just want to grab that entity. Down here in terms of address, we're going to grab the value for billing information address. And I'll show you where that actually is coming from uh, in a second here. And then we've got address component here. And what we're going to look at is the country. 
So where are we here? Right up here, country. And then we're gonna choose equals. And then I'm hopeful that this is US. I don't know, we don't have any display app. We don't need a token. So I'm hopeful that's US. And we'll go ahead and we'll save this. So um, this order address, where it was referring to a billing profile. If you look at store, you go to orders, configuration, I'm sorry, configuration order settings, and you go to manage fields. You can see here that one of the fields is this billing information, commerce customer billing. This is a default field that comes on uh, all orders and it points to a profile reference. And so commerce profiles are right up here. And so you can look at commerce profiles. And again, uh, you can add customer uh, profiles, but you can add additional customer profile types. You typically have to do it in, in code. Uh, so you'll see here under profile types, I can't actually add a new one through the UI, but I could if I was doing code. Uh, but here's the billing information. And if you look at these managed fields, you can see it's got the commerce customer order address. Uh, it's the dynamic address form. And this comes from the address, I think it's the address field module. Um, so I know that was kind of uh, quick and in the weeds, but I just wanted you to have an idea of what we were actually looking at. So again, looked at the order, looked at the billing information. That actually comes from a commerce customer profile. A commerce customer profile has one field, which is the address field. And so on there, it's uh, a multi I guess, value field. And then so we can look at the country. And so what we've done is we look to see is the country US. Uh, and if it is, then we're gonna apply this tax rate. So we've gone ahead and we save this. Uh, let's find out if we've gone ahead and done this correctly. Uh, make sure it is US. I should be able to go to my shopping cart. Should be able to go to checkout. And you can see here that no longer am I getting any taxes. If I go to continue next step, the tax has not been applied. And that's because I'm, I'm showing up as being in Canada, right? But if I go back and uh, let's add this as, you know, US or something. So we can go to United States here. And the city, I don't know, uh, it doesn't matter, New York. We'll make this New York. One, two, three, four, or five. And you can see here, my US sales tax is now showing up as $5 because it's recognizing that my country code is the US. Um, so that's how we do that. Now, the flip side is, let's take a look at VAT. Um, so Canada uses the same thing as the United States, it's a sales tax, uh, but we're gonna pretend that it's the VAT itself. So let's go ahead and we're gonna configure taxes. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna add a new tax rate. And so let's pretend that the uh, uh, Canada VAT um, is gonna be you know, 0.13%. Uh, that's the Ontario tax rate. So we're gonna add this as a VAT. Let's go ahead and save that tax rate. And so we're gonna go back to the home page here. Um, and you'll notice here Susie Pitcher is coming up as 56.50 now. Uh, if I actually look at Susie Pitcher, 56.50, um, and it's showing me the VAT as uh, being included there. And so if I add this to the cart now, I don't really need to because I already had one, doesn't really matter. Um, you can see again, still showing me 56.50, 56.50 here. And if I go and check out, it'll actually break down. Um, here's my 50, here's my $6.50, here's my $5, uh, because it doesn't know who I am or what's going on, right? Um, uh, it doesn't know my specific information. And so as a result, it's, it's going to show me both of these tax rates. However, when I go ahead and I, uh, let's go and add this as Canada. Right. And let's go, um, sorry, where am I? Ontario here. Uh, this really doesn't matter. It's not going to validate my address. Uh, you can see here that the Canada VAT is the only thing that's applied. My $6.50, the U.S. gets removed. Uh, however, obviously, if I'm still in the U.S., uh, it would apply both. So what we need to do is go back to configuration. We need to go to taxes, tax types. Here we can go into configure the rule. And under my condition, uh, just like before, we're going to go ahead and go down to the order address component comparison. And we are going to go to our, what am I doing here? Commerce line item. We're going to go to commerce order. We are going to choose the value of uh, address, just like we did before. That's what we're looking at. And we're going to go with country. And this is going to equal, I don't know, let's hopefully it's CA. We'll see. We'll go ahead and save this. Now if I go back to my home page and I'm going to go to my shopping cart, go to checkout. Again, here's Canada VAT. You can see it's being applied. Only the only thing that's being applied uh, because I've already gone ahead. I've continued to the next step. And so if I go back here and let's, uh, let's add this as United States here. That's just doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and hit next. You'll see that my US subtotal comes back here. And so again, I'll go to shopping cart. 
uh, it's showing me $50 again. And if I go to checkout, uh, it's showing me the $5. And that's because it knows um, who I am. It's cached, right? That I've gone ahead and I've chosen my, U my United States here. Um, so that's how you would set up your two, uh, your two tax rates. Hopefully that made sense. It was pretty intuitive. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I will try to get back to you. Uh, I'll try to be a lot better than I have been. Um, and alternatively, if this uh, video did help you and you found it uh, you know, useful for your use case, please just leave me a thumbs up or let me a comment and let me know how, uh, how it did so. So again, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you for the next video tomorrow.